Groff is a very determined and helpful engine. He had an important job of collecting waste from the island of Sodor and to deliver them to the waste dump where he and Whiff work at. Boy, would you smell the time? You're five minutes ahead. You know me, Whiff, old boy. Up and early, ready for a good day's work. <laughs> Whiff and Scruff worked really well at the dump, and they've been firm friends ever since. Unfortunately for the both of them, they are not free from the subject of teasing. Oh, oh boy, I've smelled many stinky steamies during my time here, but you two are far from the stinkiest. You're the most horrendous. <laughs> Oh, brother. Just ignore him, Scruff. You know how most engines are when we're around. Yep, besides the whole keep away from us, you smell awfulness that we hear a lot. Point made, Scruff. But don't let them get to you. It doesn't matter what we do as long as we work our hardest. Yeah, but even so, I still wish the other engines would see that. The next day, Scruff had to bring some trucks back to the dump. He knew he still had that awful stench, but he didn't let that get to his head. But when he had to stop at a red signal near Knapford, the yard was surrounded by big engines and, of course, diesel. Can you smell something funny? I don't know, James. What sort of smell? <laughs> I can't say. Is it you, Diesel? Hi, I'm not smelly. Just kidding. Do you think I know who it is? Oh, don't tell me. Is it some scrubby old tank engine who doesn't know when to keep a stench out of our territory? <laughs> oh, come now, Gordon. He's just being really useful. He's only useful when he's at the dump, because that's where he belongs. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. You're horrendous. <laughs> yeah. Once a smelly waste engine, always a smelly waste engine. <laughs> oh. Scruff couldn't take it anymore. But before he could leave, another voice spoke out. That's enough, all of you. Huh? What? what? Who said, huh? Sorry to startle you, James. I was away on the mainland. Yes, it's me, Boko. It's so nice to meet you all. And it's nice to meet you, Scruff. You, you've heard? Oh, yes, I've heard a lot about you. So Tom Hat sent me to help out on the mainland occasionally. But anyway, cut it out with the bullying of Scruff here. He's an essential hard worker here. So what if his job is smelly or unpleasant? He's just as useful as any of us. He's been working every now and then to dispose of rubbish and you treat him as an outcast? How absurd. Okay, geez, sorry, Boko. We meant no harm. Uh, yes, just the teasing. You know how it is. So you keep saying. <laughs> Scruff isn't the only outcast around. Wait, are you saying you were an outcast, Boko? Oh, yeah, pretty much. See, I was a non-standard engine. I and the rest of my fellow diesels of the class were built to do our jobs around the mainland. We might have been efficient and more modern than the steam engines, but we had our own problems as well. We suffered many breakdowns and caused several delays. Even worse, our cab windows nearly came off. Because of our problems, me and the rest of my fellow diesels were outcasted by many other diesels. 
they called us rejects, embarrassments of diesel kind. That is, of course, until Sir Totten Hat bought me with welcoming moms. He found a way to fix my troubles, and look at me now. Very reliable, strong, and ready to go. And Boko's not the only one. I used to have steaming problems too, so I used a special type of co. James wouldn't let go of the time how I was lazy. <laughs> But Sir Tottenham had managed to fix my firebox, and now look at me, ready to go. So you see, you big engines shouldn't put down an engine just because of a certain job or capability they can't handle. I, I, I sorry Scruff, I, you really are a hard worker. I'm sorry too Scruff. Your work is just important as us. In fact, you keep your paint so clean, it matches my splendid red paint. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't mention it, James. Diesel. Oh, well, I, 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 <clears throat> I, I, sorry, Scruff. I, I don't know what's become of me. You, out of all the stinky steamies I've met, you're, you're far from stinky. I'll give you that. <laughs> yeah. Say, uh, Mr. 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 Oh, please, call me Boko. And no mention it. We engines must look out for each other. I'm sorry about those big engines. They tend to look down on others for their inferior work. But don't worry, I'm used to their teasing manners. <laughs> oh, is that all? Most engines aren't used to me because of my smell or job. I quite understand. I can well recall a time when James was, was involved with rubbish work. Oh, do tell. I'd love to hear. Boko had not only stood up for Scruff, but he had made a good friend in him. As good friends shall.